You increase your capacity by never stop learning. You increase your capacity by, listen, not letting excuses bury those talents. This morning I woke up and, and I don't know about any of you, I couldn't sleep last night. Like I laid in bed. I'm so, so jazzed and excited about today. Finally got to sleep and then like 4 a.m. woke back up, bing, wide awake. And at 4 a.m. when I woke up, for some reason I kept, the, the word release kept coming to my mind. And maybe it connects into this today, that part of growing your capacity is you add things into your life, but then there's some things you need to release and let go of. If you're gonna have a rummage sale, what do you do? You go through and you pull stuff out of the closet, out of the cabinets, you pull stuff out of the garage, you eliminate things to allow more capacity. Does the square footage of your house grow? No. Your house stays the exact same size, but in your home you have capacity for more because you've removed some things. Okay, you've removed some things. You increase your capacity by adding. You can increase your capacity by subtracting. You increase your capacity by never stop learning. You increase your capacity by, listen, not letting excuses bury those talents. In the story of the ten talents, that one that was given one, he had a, he had a line of excuses. Listen, friends, some of you, maybe you've had some excuses and you've been holding on to them a little too long. I don't think I can do it. I'm not cut out for this. You compare yourself to somebody else. You have your own fears, your own insecurities. I don't know if my pastor will go for this. I don't know if my church will go for this. I don't know if my family will go for this. How much money is this going to take? Don't let those excuses keep you from, keep, allow you to bury your talents. You know, just like in the story of the ten talents, it made the owner mad, okay? Why would you do that? You know what, God's not impressed with our excuses either, is He? But what impresses Him is our faith and our action. Everybody say action. That's our theme. It's time for action. This is what really impresses God. When we respond in faith, when we take action, all of a sudden we move from Dixie Cup to Solo Cup to, you know what, I am ready for more. God bring it on. Are you ready for more today?